So what are we going to call this again? Uh, Sony PlayStation and announcing new stuff that we want to buy straight away because it's awesome? That's probably exactly right! It's PlayStation VR time! <laughs> well, we're sitting down to record a couple of videos tonight. Uh, we did uh, we retrospectives on the trailers for Batman vs Superman and for the Civil, uh, War. Civil Wars uh, yep, trailer America. came out. Something happened on the internet and uh, we thought we might as well hit the time while the iron is hot and actually take a look at it. PlayStation VR has actually announced its uh, release date and price and there is actually a video up on the PlayStation Network so we can actually take a wee look at it. So I haven't read it. I haven't read, I've read basic information the same one it is so I'm going to check this out and see what they've got to show us. VR is coming. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think all of us are ready. I don't think it's going to be a major big thing just yet. It's like it's still a couple of years away from actually really taking over the world. Until you have nerve gear that hooks into the back of your goddamn brain and you actually like live in that world and you that's, don't have to use a controller. That's the Matrix. That's your, you know, you'll get sued for that. You'll get hey. sued for that. That's Well, the Matrix got sued for it as well. Really? The Wachowskis lost like a portion of their muffins because they stole it from an idea from somebody else's script. Oh. Yeah. Alright, fair enough. There you go. I did not know that. Fair Didn't take enough okay. money off them though that they actually no, were no. unable to continue making work, but they we took a little portion off them. But yep, yeah, this is the PlayStation VR experience apparently. Well, the release date. Hello, everyone. Hello. Today I have some exciting news that I wanted to share with you. If today. I'm not mistaken, people refer to as tiny hands. VR home. will launch in <laughs> October of 2016, priced at $399. 399 euros. Love how that's the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Yen. Motherfucker! GBP! <laughs> the US, US dollars, euros, and yen. All of us are pretty fine. No fucking GBP. Chill, chill. 399 euros. Thanks for being with us on the journey and for making places. Uh, 350. Yeah. Roughly. At 250, though, it blows every. At 350, it blows every other uh, VR unit out of the, out of the water. Because yeah, Google's got some, Samsung's got yeah, some. Yeah, but they're all they're all at about six hundred quid. Mm. <laughs> they're all in the five hundred, six hundred pound range, plus the price of a PC to run it on. Meanwhile, this Wait, is coming. That it? That is it. That is wow. literally all they announced. Huh. Okay. So, and uh, yeah. literally, <laughs> literally okay. at, at at that price point, it is half the price of any of its competitors. That's really good, actually. But then, what what's that might what's that reflect on the either the quality, maybe the quality of the build. You know, it's a Sony Sony build. Sony builds are actually quite nice a lot of the time. I suppose uh, it makes sense. I mean, I mean the tech. The tech is the major concern. I mean, the vision, the screens they're going to use are going to be reasonably nice. Like fucking, they they do they do nice screens. They do. Like their their IPS screens on the Vita were amazing. What I'm gonna say is that because I've seen a lot of uh, VR stuff coming up, you know, from Google and Jesus Christ, even McDonald's will let you. Take your Happy Meal box apart and make VR fucking glasses. Yeah, that you put your phone into. Yeah. Yeah. But that was a Google Cardboard, and it was actually that, that was a smart move. But it's, that's not a VR experience. No, that's not a VR. That, that's a, just a, a three dimensional kind of like video Thing experience. Put your phone on. You know, if you want to smell like McDonald's for the day or yeah, on your eyes, yeah. Um. So that's a different thing. But like people will probably do the same thing in this. They'll go, well, I'll just get a Sony phone. And I'll print out some cardboard glasses. Man, no, it's a bit more than that. I know, I know. It, it really, it really is. I mean, because even from the image you can see there, and I'm, I'm just taking a piss anyway. You can see in the image there that there's uh, two blue spots that are very dominant. Uh, one above the left eye, and one below the uh, below the left eye as well. Which I'm assuming is on both sides. You can just see. Yeah, they've actually said they're tracking for, for head tracking. That, that, that'll be head tracking that's associated with using the PlayStation camera. Yeah. Because uh, it looks like the same sort of lights that are on the back of the consoles, or the console uh, controllers. Yep. The, the, the tracking that it already uses with the control pads is actually reasonably good. I mean, like this is a video of uh, something that they have are currently in production. This is the PlayStation VR Wars. We just watched this trailer before we watched the uh, announcement trailer. And what they have in this is a series of like essentially test concepts that play around with the idea of having motion tracking and movement tracking while you're playing a game. Yeah. Um, I can see it's been pretty good for uh, racing games. Yeah. No, sure, and like, but... being in the driving seat and actually being able to look out your window and actually like really experience being in the seat. The only thing is you're not you're going to be have the disconnect of oh well. I guess uh, that's a game there. Yeah. Uh, luge game. Although I see you have to you have to lie down for it. <laughs> uh, well, no, essentially I, mean, I think they're going to lie you to actually sit still for it, but 
Yeah, you'll be able to lay down whatever way you want to lay down. Now, no offense to Sony, but Danger Ball looks like a game that was on the Wii. We kind of just stood there and attracted. Oh no, sorry, the Xbox. Yeah, the that was Xbox. on the Connect. But that was on the Connect. Wasn't on the it? Connect, yeah. Uh, that was a pretty good game. Yeah, but remember, that, that was tracking your body movement. This is actually your head, your eyes are actually like looking at the ball. Like so that guy shouting, shouting in your face. It's going to look like he's actually shouting in your fucking face. Yeah. Like you look away from him and he, you'll hear him and your ears still shouting at you? I suppose any, it'll be fair like any... He'll actually look at you and go like, What? Look at me when I'm talking to you! You're right. Any any game that's tracking your movements, there are a lot of them gonna, there's gonna be some familiarness. Now this is what's got me intrigued, that you're shooting guns using the, the move controllers. The move controllers, yeah. which was the PlayStation 3, that didn't really take off all that well. Nah, the move games didn't really do that well at all. Although admittedly it tracked very well. Yeah. As long as you didn't but have like a bright light in the room that was similar. It just seemed a bit, you know, a bit like, what was the what was the price? And it was like fifty pound each. Yeah. Easy. And that's right. There were about forty pound each for each of the three handles. Yeah, it didn't. And it's shown there that you need two of them. You need fucking two of them. I suppose if you want to. One hand each. Yeah. I mean, you can shoot. I suppose you can only need one if you wanted to make it difficult for yourself. But they do look like the Red Dwarf <laughs> anti matter chopsticks. That's, that's what I thought when I... From, from the episode with the with Legion? Legion, that's what I thought when I seen them years ago. Hello, and that must be, how many years ago was that? With the, what, the, those anti matter chopsticks? No, no, uh, no, 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 not the Red Dwarf. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Sony's uh, anti-matter yeah, chopsticks. Yeah, their their own ones. Well, and that was on the PS3, and that would be a few years into the life cycle of the PS3. So we're chatting what nearly seven years ago. Maybe seven. About seven. Correct us if we're wrong. Yeah, maybe two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Maybe they're you know, like I said to you, uh, maybe it's just uh, they've got a warehouse full of these things, <laughs> and, they and they never got rid need of them. them. Need them better because the toy, the camera that you had before, the toy camera. The toy was garbage on the PS3. Was, just shit. Although it made a decent webcam whenever you could hack it, ha hack it into it and get it working. It was actually yeah. like a real, it was a pretty good image on it. But the uh, the PlayStation Four camera is actually much more higher fidelity and for motion and tracking because we've seen it. Don't use. don't mention hacking Sony products. That's, <laughs> just, that's not a good move. Oh uh, uh, well, I'm not I'm not a member of Team Lizard or anything like that, so I'm I'm, I'm safe and sound. Uh, but yeah, we were, like running a modified drive so you could plug it into your PC to be able yeah. to use it. Um, so all I remember from that was like stupid fish going from around your screen or something and that. Uh, no, and then also whenever you, your backdrop, if you had the camera on, you could actually smack it and it would wobble. Yeah. It actually had like a texture to it. But like you said, the, the new cameras come along a while. Because there's, there's, from what I can see, there's two cameras in it. So yeah. there's two to work with as opposed to the single one. It tracks the same way the Kinect does. It actually has like an infrared one and then uh, an infrared and then the two main cameras that are actually taking image at any time. Yeah. Um, you see, you see what they look like whenever you, we've done like a quick live broadcast. We used it for Keen and stuff previously. Yeah. And other oh videos. yeah, that's. But um, for them to track lighting from the VR helmet and the controllers, mm -hmm. that's going to work reasonably well. I mean, they, they it, it does track them pretty well. Right, we've, seen, we've seen it with the stuff that we use controller. Whenever you saw the like the login for the playroom where they're actually like moving that around. Yeah. It works reasonably well. It's um. It works really well with the tracking on the the controller. So I yeah, mean, with the four light sources on the VR. Um, headset, I was going to say helmet there. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it'll probably do it. It'll, it'll know where you're looking. That's uh, twice as good. I mean, it, well, it, it essentially gives you a key. It, well, all that's using is actually like tracking points, so it's actually giving the corners ahead. So if you tilt your head sideways, it knows the angle and part of each other. Yeah. Meanwhile, what it's going to have essentially a gyroscope inside it to read your head movement as well. But that's a, the comparison of its technology to the Vive and to the Oculus Rift is very, very different. I mean, the Vive has a front-facing camera that allows yeah. the, it to, mo to track your motion within a room and also be able to tell you if you're about to walk into a fucking wall. Ah, the playroom. I see, I don't think there's going to be much walking around in the whole VR thing. Yeah. You know. uh, <laughs> ah, the old... Uh, I'm just giving up on that because I was like, the noise what was actually going to drive me around the fucking bend. <laughs> Uh, in the background, sure, you know, if you want to look up the playroom, uh, just you know, go to Sony's uh, official YouTube. I'm sure there's a few videos. Now there's a few about. videos showing about how it's set up and actually how it's grow. Uh, like we didn't set up any videos of it, but the um, the PlayStation experience with VR, I don't, I don't think VR is actually. Re we're not ready for VR. Nobody's ready for VR. Hardware wise, PC players aren't ready for VR. And since the PlayStation VR is the only one that will be actually designed specifically for a piece of hardware we already have in our homes. Yeah. Wait, is there... You mentioned PCs. Is there... There's no... There's no... All the VR I think I've seen so far has been... Well, none of it has been associated with consoles until this, is it? 
Uh, there's HoloLens for the Xbox as well, which is a different thing altogether, which is actually more of like an ARG thing when you look, it's like Google Glass where you look through the glass and things are, like, your and Netflix will be on that wall, your Word, Word documents are over there and your uh, porn folder is over here somewhere. So what you're saying is no. Come on, Sony, come on, so Sony's doing it. Sony's the only one that, come Sony's on Microsoft the only there, but... Yeah, Microsoft didn't, they, they went the other route, they went the ARG site, and I'm going like, I actually kind of, I kind of like the way HoloLens works better. It's the fact that it takes an impression of your room from your eye line. Yeah. So it but modifies whatever what the world that you already live in. I well, well, that's see, I would put that more augment reality as yeah. opposed to virtual, virtual reality. Yeah. Um, because even you mentioned Google Glass. So it? the Vive can do augmented reality as well because it has the front facing camera, so you can actually be looking at your room through a camera's eye, and have stuff on play laid over the top of it. Yeah. While the PlayStation VR can't do that. Well, the only thing it, it can doesn't allude to that. The only thing it can do is actually give you the view of yourself via the PlayStation camera, so you oh. can be looking at yourself from across the room. Oh, that could be, be really fucking uncomfortable and weird to do. Oh, that could be funny though. It could be hilariously funny. If like, you have jump scares of things showing up behind uh, you, Nightmare or what did the fuck you call Night of Freddy's? Yeah, just like a literally Freddy, like Fred, Five Nights at Freddy's, just literally have Fazbear just slowly rising up behind you and actually like slowly coming over, looming over you as you sit there in the chair. Oh, that'd be creepy. That would be really fucking creepy. But it's the song that they can do with the PlayStation camera. And motion controls, you can actually reach your hand back with the fucking light and punch them in the face and knock them back down <laughs> again. I mean, it's that kind of thing where, like, that'd be a little game into itself. Hey, you know, well, to be fair, they said it's a, they announced it there three hours ago, uh, the price and released it. That's uh, October's seven months from now. Yeah, if you wanted to see it, to, if you wanted to get out, seven months from now, they have plenty of hardware, plenty of software, and plenty of chances for people to develop for it. On top of that, at that price point, Everybody can start saving about ten bucks a week now even, to get even there. Even if they decided to tweak it and have a camera in in the front, or you know, because the camera for the uh, PlayStation looks like it's small enough, they could put one on either you know the sides. If they if they put if they put a front facing camera in the PlayStation VR, that'd be weird. That'd be pretty cool. No, no. If they put that in it, that would literally beat everybody else yep. that's left. That's the only thing that if they put that in, that would be that would be every other competitor beat at that price. Yeah. At that price, that would have happened. Been, if they did put it in, they would maybe have to knock up the price. But then again, Sony, if you're listening, maybe that's what you do next October, is the next one has front-facing the, cameras. And next, uh, another SKU. Oh. I know, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't scope people for a second SKU with a front-facing camera in a year's time for VR. Okay, there, wouldn't be, there wouldn't be enough games and there wouldn't be enough support. attachment, maybe? And there wouldn't be enough support and there wouldn't be enough time for people to develop for it and whenever people did develop for it, they'd be developing for like a split user base. I think, no, I I think if you put the, the effort was put into to put a uh, front facing camera, it'd be it a year from now, gives you, gives them a, well, we'll give them a year, maybe maybe give them half a year to get augmented, because it'll hit the augmented reality people. That were going for the HoloLens? Yeah. I mean, that's the sort of stuff you'd go for. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm still dubious about the idea of splitting an audience that is going to be like the 1% of the 1% to run it. I mean, essentially, you're going to, you're only, your install base is going to be a percentage of PS4 owners. Mm. Like, do you know what I would, like, if I got a PS, PlayStation VR, do you know what that would do for me? That would mean I wouldn't have a TV anymore. I would literally just play my PlayStation through the headset. You know? Literally, I, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't play, I wouldn't play games that were designed for VR on it. Yeah. I would just wear it. As a portable TV in my head. Uh, but then there's the issue. The, your issue there is... You, you said you buy a £250 TV. You can you can sit and watch a TV and play games That's right, okay. for 20, 24 hours uh, if you want it straight. Um, sure, you'd be tired and all that, Grant. But you put that headset on and you start watching that, Netflix. You, if you... Uh, see, the problem is... I have my, my issue would, would be is you'd sit and do that and like the fucking 3D features on the Nintendo DS... You can only sit there for so long before your eyes. You would actually, you would actually experience headaches, maybe. Yeah. Maybe oh yeah. Nearly, nearly, anybody, nearly anybody who's used VR has issues with headaches. Yeah, you've got it. There's gonna be there is a time limit, so don't be throwing out your TV just yet. No, no, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> saying throwing out the TV, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> ostensibly, until there was actually like killer apps and anything else, that's what you'd be using your PlayStation VR to do. Watching 360 videos no. on YouTube. No, no, no. Well, yes. Yeah, I mean, your PlayStation VR would I what I would see you. Using it for not your three three hundred sixty videos. Mm. Everyone else, Joe Public, myself here, would be watching it in three hundred sixty videos. Going, wow, this is awesome. Woo. Mm. 
why can't I get the videos that are on you or my Facebook on this as well? Because you know, sometimes <laughs> there's no way to actually load the Facebook. They don't. Videos. They don't. They don't uh, put all their. They don't put all their. There's 360 degree videos that are perfect. You look on your phone. Yeah. Sometimes they're not uploaded to YouTube yeah, as yeah. well. But for you, out on the street, shooting film, shooting through your camera with the right uh, connectors that are input or output on the camera, you can preview your stuff pretty easily because. Well, I would hope that would have its own power supply. Power supply? That's the one thing. Uh, see, look, look at the back of it. It's got a cable coming off it? Yep. So that's that, that, that has to be uh, every, every image I saw up until today, it didn't have a cable. It didn't, didn't show a cable, and I was going like, oh, if they battery pack this, this will be fucking amazing. No, there's a cable. Yeah. Well, I did say to you earlier on, don't mention the words Sony and Hag in the same sentence. <laughs> and here I am. Swinging all the way back by to actually modifying the device you know, to actually do something else. What if you like? What if you ran it off? You know, like those, uh, you know, like those power packs you get, or the power packs you get for your phones and batteries. Yeah, I think I think specifically, it's a. I don't think that's a power cable. I'm almost sure that's going to be a data cable as well. So that actually is running the data to them the screens. If if that was if that was just a power cable, there would be a workaround. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be a data cable as well. I suppose we'll. We will. Uh, we will. Guy, we'll see. That's the one thing. I'm. I've sent emails out to the press company, the press side of Sony, to actually mm-hmm. like find out when the next experience or next PlayStation experience event is in the UK for me to get my hands on a VR box to try it. They had one yeah, what was four months ago. Any, any response? No response. Not a fucking response. Like, obviously, I don't have a. I don't have a blog with twenty thousand people showing up at <laughs> it every single day. But it, come on. Get this man twenty thousand followers. We'll get the VR. Yeah, if you if you get me twenty thousand fucking followers, twenty thousand people to actually watch these videos, I'm saying to send a message to like hashtag, where is the VR to Sony and just send you like tag it so like, we post that out as this video goes out and everybody keeps saying it to them because I want to get my hands. I want hands on with VR. I don't want hands on. And I honestly don't want. I don't. Care, I'm not too concerned about Hololens. I'm not too concerned about Oculus. I'm interested in Vive and I'm interested in the PlayStation VR. Those are the, those are the two. I want to see, and uh, Hololens would be nice and cool, but I, I just think it's not quite there yet for anybody's homes. The the PlayStation VR is coming out in October. It's not that long away. No. They it's need seven, to, they months. need to be getting demonstration units out the people uh, out the fucking and the events and the organizations like any electronics expos just so we can get people wearing these goddamn things to see yeah. the experience. I mean, Jesus Christ! Uh, a fucking trailer came out a year ago for uh, Batman vs Superman and for Civil War, and why not seven months? Seven months. Seven months. I mean, we knew these films were coming anyway, but they still put the trailer out. People need to see these fucking things in their hands. They yeah. Need to see what they're like. They, they, it's just the fact that I'm almost sure it's a situation where they don't have like full final end development consumer units seven months out. That's that because there's a physical hardware that's go with it. Yeah. I mean, so we barely it. saw it in those videos at on this dude. We just seen mainly mainly a virtual um, representation, a representation of what of it's it. going to look like fucking outliner in space of where it's going to sit yeah it's, it's another thing I'm actually concerned about how well it fits and how well it sits in your head and the weight of it and I the adjustable. balance although admittedly Sony always have a good thing about ergonomics so that they actually will probably like they'll make it so that you can actually wear headphones with it that's going to be a major big deal yeah I mean anybody who's actually wanted full immersive experience they're going to want to be able to hear as well as see but yeah this is this has gone a bit too long. Just yeah. for like a oh, yeah, no, video, no. guys. Thank you very much for watching. This has actually been our little discussion on PlayStation VR. It is coming in October. It is retailing at US dollar, European and yen price, but barring no GBP. Well, you so, know, what? we might not even be in the European fucking Union at that stage with all this political. So stuff. we'll have to be. Well, we, we might not even be able to import them at that point. We'll be. We'll have to illegally import them across the borders because they'll be a, a foreign tech. Oh, straight down to Lifford again. Down to Lifford, um, down to Lifford for the PlayStation <laughs> VRs. Um, and early films. Oh, <laughs> so we'll run down there and pick one up for what is about £350 GBP. Mm. So guys, comment underneath. What do you think of the Sony uh, PlayStation VR? What do you think of the hardware in general? And what do you think of the actual VR revolution that was dem- expected in like, what, 2013? It's only finally coming around now in 2016. So guys, like, comment, subscribe, share, and make sure to get in touch with us on Twitter, which is at Pastiche of Skin for me. And, and real will come be for me. So, guys, thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Good night.